Hello, my name's Marcus from Ideal Stencils and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your stencil with a stencil brush and get really great results. The materials that we need are a stencil. Today we're going to be using our A3 Stag's Head stencil, uh, which is a very popular stencil. Uh, you may want to use a spirit level to make sure that your stencil is straight, depending on the project you're doing and depending on how bothered you are about accuracy. Um, some repositional spray mounts or um, low tack blue decorators tape to hold your stencil in place while you're painting. Um, some paint, uh, tester pots are ideal for small projects, um, emulsion paints are brilliant, you don't want to use anything runny like poster paint or anything like that, um, you won't get good results. A stencil brush, um, a plate if you want to put the paint onto the plate or you can just take the paint straight out of the pot and also some kitchen roll for offloading our brush before we actually start painting the stencil. So that's all the materials that we need, let's get started. Okay then, uh, we're ready to start. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to put some repositional spray mounts uh, on the back of the stencil to hold it to the surface while we're stenciling. So um, to do that, you just uh, give kind of shake a bit and obviously you want the reverse side of the stencil um, to be sticking and you just give it a few little sprays. Not too close, from a bit of a distance and um, that's enough to um, just give it a light misting on the back, don't give it too much, it could leave some residue on the wall. Um, the 3M is great stuff, it doesn't really leave marks um, you don't, if you don't use loads of it. So that's that job done. You need to give it about 30 seconds to become tacky, oh that's really nice and tacky now, um, we're going to get really smooth edges with that. And um, what I've done is instead of us doing it on the wall, which is going to be really tricky to film and everything, um, I've got this um, piece of board here, um, which I painted white. Um, this is replicating the wall surface really well here. So we're going to use this uh, for our tutorial. Okay, so um, our stencil is tacky and we're ready to put it in place. So we're putting it down. And um, if you're doing it on the wall, you'll want to make sure it's level. Um, it's just a case of sticking it down nicely like that, making sure that all the little bridges and bits in the stencil are pushed down. So that's all good. Um, what we want to do now, okay, is um, we're going to get our brush and we're going to um, load the brush with paint. Okay, so you just put it in the paint a bit and you swirl it in, into the paint. You want to make sure that the um, paint is getting absorbed up into the bristles of the stencil brush. Like that. That's great. And then go over to your paper towel and give it a good offload onto the paper towel. Um, the number one thing about stenciling is people complain because they get blotchy, blotchy, blotchy edges. Well, that's because you put, there's too much paint going on. Um, your brush wants to feel more damp than wet, you know? It doesn't, you don't want to see any big bits of paint on there or anything like that. So that's really kind of well offloaded now. Um, as the project goes on, your brush will, um, you know, you'll find your way to do it the best. So to start off with, I always start with the edges and kind of stipple up and down like this motion, but kind of inwards as well from the edges. So you don't push any paint under the edges of the stencil. Okay, so working our way around the edges of the stencil. I'm kind of brushing inwards a little bit as well. Okay, I'd, um, I'd, you, you know, you start off kind of softer at first um, with, with less pressure, but as you keep going on and you paint, there's less and less paint on your brush. You, you know, your pressure is going to uh, increase. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a little bit more paint on my brush now, swirl it back into the paint, onto the brush, and you can also, you know, you can start stippling on the outside of the stencil a bit, just to test, see how much paint you've got on your brush, um, if it's too much, give it another dab off, so going again, 
You see how quick it is, really quick and easy. Um, you see this one repeat of this with is you know it's only going to take us a couple of minutes to do. Um, if it, if you're working on the wall and you want to see what kind of results you are getting, um, you can peel back the stencil and have a look to see. You know you can see there we're getting some really nice crisp edges, so that's all good. So that's just a way to check how 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 you're going. The neighbours will think think that you're hammering. If you're doing it on the wall and you're doing a repeat pattern stencil, they'll think, what are they doing? Hammering on the wall. The next time you can see them, you can say, now it's just stenciling. You don't really need brilliant stencil brushes, like really expensive ones. Um, just kind of like basic ones are, are, are perfect. You can get them in different sizes. This is kind of a medium size which I think is brilliant for most kind of projects. And they last for a really long time. When you first get them all of the bristles might start falling out. I give it a good wash to start with and give it, you know, get all the bristles and over time y your brush will just get better and better. So look, I've given it one layer. That's, um, that's done already. Um, do you know for like an all over wall pattern you probably don't really need to give your stencil more than than um, than one one layer because it kind of gives a really nice warm kind of handmade natural look but if you do want to do um, more layers then all you have to do is just do more layers you shouldn't need more than two really so that's that's that done really um, so we'll peel we'll peel that back now and then um, we'll have a look at it and see what kind of results we got from it. Um, you don't have to wait for it to dry before you peel it off, you can just peel it off straight away and um, just make sure that you don't rub the paint while you and smudge it or anything. So let me turn that round and show you what we've done. So that's really good, that's like really crisp, really crisp edges, really crisp lines. Um, number one thing is don't get too much uh, paint on your brush otherwise you're going to end up with blotchy edges. So that um, concludes today's tutorial on using a stencil brush to paint a stencil. Um, I'll get around to doing a tutorial next time on using um, a roller to paint larger stencils. But um, I'm Marcus from Ideal Stencils. Uh, bye for now.